Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico to visit with Jaime Del Valle and a few of his cats. Now, these aren't just any cats, these little kitties are Jaguars. Jaime has the Jaguar dealership here on the island, and he and a few of his buddies put together quite a litter for us to play with today. And all I got to say is, here, kitty, kitty. Jaime, so good to see you, my friend. Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico, to the house of the cat. <laughs> Boy, and I can't believe it. I had to come all the way to Puerto Rico to see such a beautiful collection of Jaguars. This is unbelievable. I, I can't believe there are so many wonderful cars on this island. There are, there are those that you saw a few years ago, and there are more around you anytime you want to come back. <laughs> well, you know a little bit about Jaguars, don't you? You're the, yes, you're I'm, the... I'm the Jaguar dealer for the last 22 years in Puerto Rico. So you do, you do know these cars? Yes, first one that I saw in my life was when I was 10 years old in 1952, uh, 120. And you said, I've got to get into these. I got to get into these. <laughs> well, and speaking of 120s, we have an absolutely beautiful example here. This is a 1954 XK120, correct? 120S, yes. 120S. Yes. Now, this was, you know, of course, Jag made the SS100, but really this was their first modern sports car, wasn't it? Yes, sir. This is a race car. It's, a, it's an elegant sports car, but it's really a race car. It's a simple car, easy car, you see. It's a basic car, doors aluminum, hood is aluminum, and trunk is aluminum. And these, this is the door latch right That's here? That's a simple door latch, and this is a, to keep your belly wheels on those times. Just like, like the saddlebags. A, like a saddlebag, yes. They had a racing windshield for The these. Brooks Lamb, what we call the Brooks Lamb, because this, when you take out this windshield, you got seven miles more per seven hour. Seven miles per hour more? Yes. Well, there's a lot of wind resistance off that. Yes. And the, the other ones were just little... Little you know, round things, and also you can drop to the... You can drop it to the front. And just go with goggles. And goggles, yes. <laughs> and a helmet like this. And a helmet, yes. <laughs> no, you need a helmet like this. Maybe a little backwards, but you need it. Um, powering this was the uh, 3.4 liter, right? A 3.4, yes. Can we look at it? Yes, sir. You can notice the grill. It's a, it's a piece of art. All the wiring on the car is the original wiring of the car, including the coil. When you talk about matching numbers here, even the radiator had a number. The radiator, the wiper motor, they have the dates. Everything is dated. Now this is a, a low mileage, been restored, but it's a very low mileage car. He got the 10,000 miles one month ago. We got the car with 3,000 miles. Wow. Still covered by the guarantee because they never put date of, <laughs> of uh, expiration on the book. So you freshened up the engine, but you still have the original wires. They were here wired, everything, the connector. The only thing we changed on the engine block was the seals. Wow. Close your back up, honey. It, they're gorgeous cars. I love the dual overhead cam. It's just a beautiful, beautiful engine. Yeah. Now this went from 49 to uh, to 54, but then they upgraded the technology a little bit and went to the 140. They went to the 140. It's the same body. The only thing they moved the engine to the front to give some balance on the car. They racked the radiator, uh, rack and pinion, and you have more space in, in the inside of the car for the person. This well, car is a liter tie up. Let's go, let's go have a look okay. at the 140. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jaime, we started over there with a beautiful original 120. We're going to step it up. That's a 1954. We're going to step it up to 1956 and the 140. What are the, what are the differences in these cars? A lot of different on the front bumper, front oh. guards for protesting. Cars uh, uh, grill, uh, the signal lights. Now, those look like bigger headlights, though. Yes, for the European market, and Puerto Rico was included in the European market, they use the seven, the seven inches. For American market, they use the five and three quarter uh, regular headlamps. Were the hoods all louvered? No, only on the MC rally cars. And MC stood for? Modified competition cars. Okay, now the interior, though, looks almost identical to the It uh, looks identical, but it's deeper for your legs. The dash is identical, and you don't have the big thing that can hit your... The bullet. The bullet, <laughs> you can hit it. The, but the steering wheel is also, is also the same. Same windshield? Same windshield. Same fenders, same doors. I can bring one door to another. Same trunk. Okay. No one thing different on the 140 is the, the chrome, chrome. Uh, bar through that. And they did separate the exhaust now? Yes, on the MC. On the, the regular on the car have a single muffler. Oh, I see, okay. And single hole on the chassis to pass the muffler. Now, uh, 
the same engine though, three three point four liter. Three point four liter, yes. Well, let's open up the, the hood and let's look at this. Just three point four. Remember, this is a car used to be drive on the road. It's so a different hood? way to the to latch the hood. Yeah, props in a little bit different position. Radiator's different too. Uh, radiator is racket to the to the back. Engine is four inches to the front. Better weight balance? Better weight balance and a lot of more space for the driver, the one that pay for the car. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's a better balance on the car. And this gives you a bigger radiator, I imagine? A bigger radiator and a space for the rack and pinion. So these, uh, these go pretty fast too, don't they? Yes, 141 miles. They never get up to that kind of speed here on the island though, do you, they? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> As the son of the owner. He was driving a Lexus and he was driving this and he wanted to put a Japanese flag on the side. Because <laughs> he beat a Lexus. Yes, he beat a Lexus. Lexus. <laughs> we'll close this one up, I mean. Absolutely uh, beautiful cars. 12140 Roadsters. Let's talk about a 150 Coupe. Yes, sir. Okay. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Okay, Jaime, we did a 54-120, we did a 56-140, uh, uh, now we're at a 57-150. This is quite a different car. S, S. Than 50 remember, S. S. Remember, Don't it's a big difference. Because that. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was the hot version, right? Yes, it's a, com yes, a three-carburetor version. This is a completely different car, the body. It's four inches wide, roll of windows. It was the first roll-up windows well, they did? No, no, the drop has a roll of window, but on the coupes is the first roll of window. I see, okay. Yeah. And this this you've set up for, you rally in this, you we race rally in this? We rally and we race it. No matter it's automatic, we rally and we race the car. And so you've set this up for comfort and for speed? Comfort and speed and air condition on the car, yeah. And you drive it like a lot? Um, on 2007, we did 14,000 miles on, all, on USA, and on 2008, all, again, 14,000 miles. Now, the, the 150, the rear bumper is completely different. Yeah. You saw on the, on all the no now. bumper on the 120, Two pieces of bumper on the 140, a full bumper on the on the 150, plus our medallion of being winner on Le Mans 51, 53, 56, 50, and 57. So they're gonna. So now we've added a few more Le Mans wins to yes, the bag. Yes, yes, sir. Four wheel disc brake. Four wheel disc. Is that the factory? Yes. Wow. This is the first first four wheel disc brake Jaguar, which makes a big difference because these could always go. They couldn't always stop. That's the reason. But sometimes we need to stop. <laughs> So you got with this engine. So this doesn't open from the inside anymore. No, no, no. Because it's a race car. It's a competition car, and regulation make you make it easy. Now this would have been originally a 3.4 or a 3.8, right? A 3.4 or 3.8. The pumpkin color on the head tell you the horsepower of the car. Oh, that was all color it, coded. Yes, the head were color coded. The green were 180, blue 190. You know the horsepower according to the color of the head. But this isn't a 3.4, this isn't a 3.8. This is a stroked 4.2. 2 to 4.7, yes. 4.7. What kind of horsepower does it put out now? Uh, Dino 345. 345 horsepower. Well, okay, so this was, you know, 120, 140, 150. These were great cars. But Jaguar, really, I think they changed the game with the when next generation. When they go from the E-Type and the Monocoque, and that's a real racing car. That's a real, the E-Types. Well, let's go look at an, an okay. E-Type. Well, now we're into some real race cars here, Jaime. Yes, sir. The E-Types. Now I've had I've had one of these. I had a '69 coupe. I love these cars. They fly, and they're so. This is another body style that even today I think just looks fabulous. It's still, it's still on racing, it's still on date, because they have it's a monocoque, a chrome molly uh, tube chassis. Everything that you think or dream on racing is there. It's all there. Now this is an interesting grouping here because this is a series one, Se a series, series two, two, and a series three, and V12. a series three with the V12. Now, not only is this a Series 1, but this is a 2 plus 2. Yes, sir. With the little back seat. I, I, I got to be honest, I've never personally liked the 2 plus 2 because I think they look too bulbous or something. But this car, with this color combination, absolutely works. He make it. He make it for the car, yes. It, it's, it's the only telltale from the outside that is a coupe uh, 2 plus 2 is the chrome uh, bar. Easy to open and it's one third of the body of the car that is opening on the car. And like you say, this is this is unibody monocot back here. And this is a chrome molly uh, tube chassis as a racing car. And you can just take you that whole thing You go to any off. GTP today, you f will find the same kind of body, same style. And this is a 4.2 liter. This is a 4.2 with a about 103 transmission and the three carburetors. This is a typical E-type from that period. But again, the, the color of this car, this kind of fawn beige or whatever you call it. Made it made the difference. Oh, and the then difference. look inside. And then with this 
pumpkin colored interior. It's wild. I've never seen this combination before. When they call me from Tennessee to see this car, when I see the color combination, I was hooked. And I have to buy the car <laughs> because I love different cars, you know. And uh, another thing about the Series 1 versus the Series 2 is the treatment of the taillights. Light, right? Yes, on Series 1, on one and a half, the taillights is, is over the bumper and you see the, this dent on the bumper. Well, these are all stunningly beautiful cars, but you have something that I have never seen, actually what I came here to see. Ah, the chassis. The chassis, yes. a Jaguar without the body. Without the body. Let's go look at Let's that. Go. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jaime, you sent me a picture of this and I was hooked. I had uh -huh. to see this. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this is fabulous. This is a, a, a an XK120 Without the body. Without the body, yes. Well, you know, what's, what's kind of interesting, I think, is that it's, it's such a, a, a modern looking car for its time, the 120, such a sexy looking car, but you put, peel the skin off and it's a pre-war chassis. It's a Mark 7 chassis, cut. It, it's a chopped ch Mark 7, basically? Yes, but with a better suspension in the front. Is that, and is that adjustable and everything? Yes, everything I can adjust, uh, tow and uh, everything is adjustable on, the, on this car. Now, why does it have a body? Uh, it's so lovely that way. It is lovely. <laughs> I can enjoy the car. It's beautiful. <laughs> you will be invited to a lot of things because when you see the reality of the car. Mm -hmm. You do, yeah. yes. When they put the S class on Pebble Beach, I was in love with the class because it was only chassis and you see the true car under the body. Uh huh. Well, it, it, it is gorgeous and you've got you know, all these, these things, these little details because they could swap it left to right. Hand you can drive. swap it, yes, a body. Remember, they don't have the... It was not a globalization, but it was a globalization. England is a right hand drive, but you can change the pedal and everything, and everything is already on the chassis and on the bell housing just to change Just one flip line. it right around. The same thing. You don't need nothing extra. Just exchange from, from right to left. This car is a matching number, everything. You will go to the play and you find, this is where you find the number of the transmission on a Jaguar. When the body is, it's really difficult to, to find that number. Yeah, I bet it is. You and to, this and is you a got dash, full, full dash, full even dash, the pearl yes. walnut? Yep. Well, it's a Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. <laughs> I need wood. I have wood on the floor and beautiful walnut over here. It's still got this. Uh, yes, it's an early car. Still have that. The thing that will punch you. The bullet. Hole in your, the yes. bullet will punch a hole in your chest. They call that uh, the open heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the other thing I noticed about this car that's kind of interesting is it's got a license plate on it. It's registered in Puerto Rico. It's drivable. Today we are in so and so because we have had the little fenders. But why we don't enjoy life? and drive the car, get on the seat. I can drive a chassis? I'm, I'm, yes. I'm gonna drive a 120 chassis. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> nice fit. Key. Key, button. button. Yeah. One more important thing. Yes. <laughs> Clean up. <laughs> Very good. Need a heater in this car. No, There's plenty of heat coming there's plenty out of here. Of heat coming from the engine. I like looking out over this long engine too. Yeah. Driving along the, the sea. The, the, sea yeah. the Atlantic, yes. The Atlantic, huh? There's the fort. Yep. Honestly, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> You're doing the combination of American, Spain, and Puerto Rico. All together, right here. All together. Dating back to the 1500s, right? 1500. This is a blast. <laughs> you know how to live. Yes, sir. Oh, man. What a day and what a way to end it. Driving an XK120 chassis around Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. Jaime, you have beautiful cars and an even more beautiful island. Thank you for coming to Puerto Rico. You have to come back. We have a lot of more treasures to show you on this island. Oh, I'll be back. Believe me, I'll be back.